streaming is active. Taiwan special episode two of the week or three of the week, excuse me. I want to say this again. If you're watching on YouTube, that beautiful sunset behind me is from West Peak uh, on Mount Jade in Taiwan. And these pictures are available at the 500 PX account that I've got. And it, 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 you're, you're welcome to download it and set it as your desktop background. Um, not commercial purposes, but even if you're at work and it's just your little personal computer that you use at work, uh, you're welcome to you're, you're welcome to enjoy these pictures. Um, anyhow, um, okay, this is going to be kind of a strange uh, podcast episode. I'm not going to have Feature Friday because I went long on uh, on uh, Talking Tuesday. I uh, about the my 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 near end Game of Thrones analysis and the connection of how it relates to Taiwan and some interesting thoughts about uh, how good people invite their own destruction when they don't do good things. Uh, good people who do nothing are not good people. Um, so I, it, it's amazing. The chains of psychology make us slaves to evil. And if we're slaves to evil, then we're helping evil. So anyhow, I, I really explore that a lot. It's not a popular opinion. It's, it's not what we deserve. You know, when, when good people do nothing and then we get destroyed as a result, you, 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 you in, incite violence, retribution from good, strong people, you know, good, good, I got to explain this. Good people are strong. It, it's important to understand. People who, who do good work. They, they, they play piano and they play it well. They, they, they write computer code and they write it well. They, 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 they make uh, leather products, wallets or whatever, and they make them well. They, they, they sew clothes. They do custom clothes. They do it well. They, they, they flip burgers and they really manage the McDonald's team and it flows well and efficiently and they handle mistakes. They minimize mistakes and handle stuff. They do that well. Whatever they do, they, 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 they're a truck, truck driver and they drive well. They're safe on time. Um... People who do a good job are strong and formidable and you don't want them as your enemy because they're good at what they do. Now, bad people are not good at what they do. Thieves are not smart. They can't earn money, so they have to steal someone else's. If they were smart, they would make money because the effort that goes into theft is much more effective if someone knows how to take half of that effort and put it into working diligently for something and doing a good job. So bad people, people that are bad, are not skilled at what they do by definition. Even bad, evil, elitist class power mongers, you know, you know, bad people that like, like bad money and lobbyists and big evil corporations or, you know, they try to, to, to bribe Good people, they have to survive by bribing good skilled people because they don't have the skill themselves. And then those good skilled people were formerly skilled, but their progress then hinges on bribery. And those good skilled people stop being good and they, they lose their skills because they stop practicing so much because they get corrupted and then they go join the corruption thing and their money depends on corruption. And that's what we're seeing happen with Facebook. All that money went to Zuckerberg's head. Now, this is a thing, it's a reason why, you know, bad people doing a bad job will eventually provoke a response from good people. Good people will say, enough's enough. You bad people have been stealing my stuff or you haven't been maintaining the roads and I've got a farm and I want to focus on my farm, but I've got to be able to drive my corn or wheat or whatever down the road to the market and you're not repairing the roads. And so now you've provoked my wrath and I'm going to stand up and do something. And those, when those good people who are good at what they do, when they rise up and they go to war with the bad people, who's going to win? 
the good people because they're good at what they do. And the bad people are going to lose because they're bad at what they do. So when people that are good at what they do fight people that are bad at what they do, the good people at what they do are going to be good at fighting and the bad people at what they do are going to be bad at fighting. Gee, who's going to win? Okay, so you don't want to provoke good, peaceful people. It's not about training for war. It's about just being good at stuff. The good people might rise up and go to war and they might not know how to, to practice war, but they might know how to do other things. They're innovative. They're smart. They know what they're doing. So you don't want to provoke good people to go to war. Okay. All right. Okay. So good is formidable. Um, you know, I, I realize this week, economics are a lot like electronics. Think about this. Making gadgets and robots and things that use battery power, things that run on batteries, those are kind of easy to make. You can get Arduinos, you can get uh, Raspberry Pis. Arduino is a, it's like a smaller thing than a Raspberry Pi. Um, you know, you can actually, you can get a Raspberry Pi, plug it into stuff and make your own 3D printer, I think. Arduinos also can make your own 3D printer. Arduinos are, are simpler than a Raspberry Pi, but they can run smaller code for smaller uh, projects. A, a lot of, a lot of uh, gadgets, fans, uh, strange LED lights and things ha might have an Arduino computer inside of them. Little, little tiny, ultra t tiny version of a Raspberry Pi, not as functional. Okay. Um... I don't know why, it's, but it, it, you can make gadgets and electronics that run on batteries. That's relatively easy to do, to innovate, to use someone else's kit and put it together. That's easy to do. But finding an energy source so that you can charge the battery. Oh, that's, that, that's a whole other, that's, that's a whole other skill. And the thing is, there's not as much market demand for people to design battery chargers. We need them, but not as many. It's not as common. It's not as glamorous and glorious. It's not as creative, but it's much more important. And finding those energy sources is more difficult. And the people who govern society need to understand the energy source, not just using someone else's energy, not just making robots that are going to use the battery. The people who, who lead in government need to be the people who create businesses or have experience with things where they understand how to generate, where they know how to, how to get the source of energy. They know how to charge the battery. It's not glamorous and glorious to be in the battery charging business, but it's necessary. Okay. All right. So that's, that's a thought. Um, the good people that you don't want to fight are usually going to be the battery chargers. Um, uh, yeah, see, it, it's, um, making battery chargers is simpler, more difficult. It's simpler, but it's more difficult. It's more important and it's less, there are fewer jobs needed for it in the market, but they, those few jobs are very important. You can't have society without them. All right. Okay. Um, here's what's happening. Media censorship is uh, just like this extradition law with Hong Kong that I talked about yesterday. I don't know where it's going to go. It's going to backfire. But this is censorship has become a monster. Uh, Facebook and Google could become public utilities within 10 years. Um, I, we could see legislation seriously introduced and start to go into effect with as soon as five, but it being in full force, at least 10 years, I think, um, anything fast and that would be too sweeping of action. Um, so I, um, what are, you know, what are we going to do? Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm not 
a fan of abandoning Facebook because if it's going down, all of a sudden it could rebound, it could get sold, it, it could get under better governance. Um, I, I, I've kind of sort of, uh, my own reason that I don't use Facebook as much, I, I, as I mentioned in the podcast weekly earlier this week on Monday, I started a petition, I put it up on Facebook, but days and days and days are going by and nobody's seeing it. You know, Facebook just isn't a good place to share stuff because what you put up there isn't fairly and honestly going to be shown to your friends like stuff in the past was. Now you've got a, a robot mommying everything. You've got a, an AI mommying everything, deciding what it's going to show and what it's not going to show. So uh, I, I don't post stuff up there like it matters because it doesn't matter. Um, you know, that, that that's kind of my thing. I, 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 put my stuff elsewhere. I, I, I talk to people on it. I, I, I like to put fun pictures there, but it's just, if you put something up, your friends might not see it. So uh, just for that reason, I, I don't know why your friends don't see it. I, I think I don't, it might not even be about censorship. Facebook might just be trying to decide, you know, pick the winners and the losers because they want to show you the stuff that they think you're going to like. Well, um, as Tyrion said, it's not your decision to make. Um, but you know, so I don't, I don't hate Facebook. It's just, it's not as reliable as far as getting information out to people. So, um, anyhow, uh, just, those are some random thoughts this week. Um, I, I, one other thing, um, there, there was something that came up about, um, I've been, I've been sorry, Russia made a whole bunch of fake social media accounts, blogs and stuff to put out information that was fake. And, they were trying to target, they'd done research and they found hot issues that make Americans want to fight with each other. And they, basically the, the thing is, it was like Le Le LeBron James picked one of these things up and it was fake, but it got them all mad and he reacted to something that wasn't real or something like that. The thing is, the things that Russia found that provoke Americans to fight with each other are usually talking points that the left tries to put out. I, I, I just, I just found that interesting. Um, you know, whose political perspective is really divisive. You know, the, 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 the left is against hate speech but who are the people that are proving more and more to be hateful? You know, hate isn't in a topic or a political opinion. It's in our conduct. Uh, that's the Taiwan special for the week. See you next week.